So let's take a look at Adobe Aero and just see how we can create this simple little um, kind of trigger image that actually recognizes the book cover and has these cute little animations that are built in. Um, really, really impressed with how um, Aero is working. And I thought I'd do a quick tutorial about how we can kind of create this um, trigger image, uh, how it's anchored to the actual uh, book image itself, and how we can create some simple little animations uh, that are built into Aero. So to get started, obviously, you're going to need the Aero app. And you're going to need a Adobe account, um, a user image to actually get through. So let's get started. First thing it does in Aero is it actually looks for a plane. So you can't actually build the experience without it. So we'll just tap here. We've got a nice little plane. And we'll go to Starter Assets and bring in a couple of images. Um, so you can see there, there's lots of different images that you can bring. We've got some animated ones there already in. And it's a simple case of just tapping and placing as you go along. Now what we want to do is anchor it. So up the top right hand corner, you can see the little anchor. By the way, you can do things like pinch. Um, let's add a little behavior first. So it's just a matter of tapping the owl and putting on a simple behavior um, on a touch. And then we up the top there, it has preview and we can just tap the preview and you can see your little animation in work there. Um, at the top right hand corner, we want, actually want to anchor this to an image. Um, so if we press on anchor, um, and down the bottom, if you look at the settings there, what we the type of anchor, we can go to our camera roll and just select an image. Now, I found that this works really accurately, but we need to obviously um, resize the image so that it's going to be a little bit bigger, gives us a little bit of a canvas to actually play with um, and size-wise so that we can actually layer a few of our assets on top. So we'll just make this a little bit bigger just for this tutorial. You can see there that the owl, and now I can actually move things around and when I press preview, it's actually going to look for the image itself. So now it's actually looking for that image. It sees it there. And we can start building our assets on top of the actual book now in kind of real time, which is great. So what we'll do is we'll press plus and we'll just go back, uh, back here to our image and we'll add a few more assets. So one of the other things it's got is it's got things like text. So if we can go with some decorative text that we might have seen at the start of the tutorial there that we can place them there and do some pretty cool things with text as well. You can resize, really, really easy to do that. You can kind of work in with whatever context the image is there. And there's some simple little effects like orbit, um, spin and some different ones. The great thing about this is up the top here, we can export as a USDZ file or a reality file to use with Reality Composer. Um, you might have seen some of my other work there that I've started combining the two together and they work beautifully together. Paul Hamilton here signing off.